Hey guys, today we have our first look at a new 2023 Ninjago set, as well as descriptions for the rest. So let's get right into it. Starting off the video, here's our first picture of Zane's new dragon. It was sent to me by Amods. ZM0495 over on Instagram, but the dragon here looks pretty nice and detailed so I'll probably be picking this one up at some point. The figures are Zane, Pixel, and three skeletons, however if we look at another picture there seems to be like a strange ghostly light coming from the skeletons so that's de uh, definitely pretty interesting and uh, I can't wait until the sets are revealed so we can see how that's gonna look like. The skeletons are supposed to resemble Oni and Dragon Hunters as well, which seems to like a super fun concept and I can't wait to see how they look. Back to the dragon, it retails for $100 and the set is 2-in-1 so it can be built into a mech. I love the idea quite a lot and might prefer the mech over the dragon, but only time will tell. We also have some set descriptions from Rydex and Joggle Leaks, so let's get right into those. So there's actually going to be three new gimmick sets for $10 and will most likely be spinners for Cole, Zane, and Nia. There's also going to be a $10 Kai's Ninja race car, which should be pretty big even though it has a few pieces, and obviously the figure is Kai. There's also going to be a Lloyd mech duel, uh, which is going to include two mechs, uh, which is Lloyd's going to be gold and the villains is going to be black and red. And then the figures are going to be Lloyd and a Skeleton for $20. There's also going to be a Cole Earth Dragon Evo, which includes Cole and a Skeleton similar to Daddy No Legs. So basically it's going to have like uh, several legs on a circular uh, piece. I'm going to put up a picture of how it looks like. The dragon has large golden horns and is predominantly black with orange accents and small wings, so that's pretty much predictable. And the figures are going to be a coal and a skeleton for $35. Next up, $45, we have Kai's Mech Bike Evo, includes a mech from Makai and a bike which the mech can ride, which seems super creative. Also comes with a skeleton vehicle and two skeletons. Then Jay's Thunder Jet Evo for $10. Includes a, a detailed jet for J, so uh, probably not 4 plus, probably gonna be like a regular set and it's gonna have J. Next up is J's Titan Mech for $80. Includes a white and blue mech for J with a sword, comes with a turret for the villains. And then the figures are gonna be J and two skeletons, but I could see they're having like a knee in there too. Next up is the set that we talked about earlier, it's a massive 2 in 1 dragon, the wings are brick built, but the head is made with pieces which are also used in core and season 14 through 16 dragons, the dragon has some gold accents. The price is $100, 173 pieces, Zane Pixel Skeleton Skeleton Skeleton. Next we have the Ninja Creative Box for $60, includes a vehicle for Kai and one for Nia, which is like car and a motorbike, also has uh, some builds and comes in a 2x4 brick box. That's pretty predictable too. It's gonna have Kai, Nia, two skeletons, and two unknowns. And 530 pieces. Next is Lloyd's Ninja Motorbike. It's probably a 4 plus set. Includes Lloyd and a villain. Uh, so Lloyd and a skeleton. And then $10 again there. Most likely 4 plus, I guess. Our final set here is Nia's Water Dragon Evo, similar to Jay's Core Dragon, and probably a LEGO exclusive set, so $20 Nia Skeleton, seems pretty fun. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the 2023 Ninjago Wave, that's pretty much how it's gonna turn out, like, I'm definitely excited for a few of these sets, but what do you guys think? Tell me which ones you will be buying down below, and I'll see y'all next time, bye!